This is Sweet Caroline, a beautiful 60 foot long by 10 foot wide, wide beam built in 2012 by the Northwich Boat Company and Elton Moss. I'm just panning around the moorings here to give you a feel for where she's lying because the mooring is available with the sail. This is the garden that comes with the boat up to the flower pots you saw at the start. Absolutely light, delightful spot looking over towards the hills. So she was built in 2012, she's in really good condition. The engine has only got 127 hours on her. It's a Canal Line 52, the engine. And they've really looked after her, the owners. One owner since new, or the couple have owned her since new. Pramhood's in very good condition. And on the boat we go. It's a good size stern deck. That measures eight feet long. The gas locker is on the starboard side in the corner there. The engine sits under the deck boards here. Comfortable taff seats around the back of the boat. And down we go. It's a reverse style boat, so into the galley first. That measures it seven feet long. And it's all in here. It's a microwave. Fridge and a freezer, you'll see those in a minute. The storage under the steps there. And here is the freezer. I haven't moved that bin rather annoyingly, so. I'll just faff for a bit and then give up, I think, is what happens. There we go. And the fridge sits next to it. They're both 230 volts, the fridge and the freezer. Electricity on board is provided by the landline, of course, but there's also a 2.5 kilowatt inverter on board, Sterling Pro Combi. Good size cupboard here, and this is where the electrics sit, and it's covered over. Very tidy boat inside as well as outside. She's been very well looked after. There's the oven, that's a Stoves 500, full burner gas hob. There's an extractor fan and hob light over that. It takes cooking odours outside of the boat. Very good size storage here under the sink. Draining board faces the correct way, I'm pleased to announce. Let's just have another quick look at the galley. There's a bit of a breakfast bar here with two parcels underneath. Very light this, this room, those windows are three feet wide, 22 inches tall. Nice cabinet there with the television housed inside. There's a side hatch there on the starboard side. Provided light and air. Huge sofa bed. The storage in that ottoman there, that freestanding seat thing. Carpeted throughout this boat as well, so that gives it an added feel of warmth and comfort. And on we go into the very well used, well designed spare room stroke office. The bed there measures six feet six long. It's a very neatly arranged desk there with drawers under and a wardrobe next to it. Really good room, this. Nice use of the space. Doors are sliding. The woodwork on this boat's all oak. It's oak face ply with oak trim. All very nicely done. And we go through another sliding door into the bathroom. 
Good size room, six feet wide, quadrant shower there. It's got a ceramic tray. And there's a brace of loos here. One's a porta potty, the other one is a pump out. You can do the micro, uh, the crossword together <laughs> if you fancy. Good size cupboard here. The loo I didn't mention was a Thetford Tecma macerator. And under the cupboard is a seven kilo washer stroke dryer. That's a hot point Aquarius. And we go into the master bedroom in the forward cabin. Absolutely stunning room this. Huge bed, that's six foot eight long and five foot four inches wide. Storage under. There's drawers either side and a big drawer at the end here. The radiators on board are fired by a Webasto Thermotopsy diesel run system. Lots of space in here. There's a wardrobe here and a double wardrobe on the other side of the bed. They have shelves that slot in those as well. So if you didn't need it all for hanging space, you can put the shelves in. Television on the wall there. Such a lovely room. Out we go through the oak doors, they're steel on the outside. And the well deck, four and a half feet long. Lovely summer outdoor space. And the locker there in the bows is storage. There's one gas bottle on the back that's plumbed in as it were, and the spare is kept in that forward locker. be in a hotel I think in this bedroom. Back we go through the boat. Why not? All very nicely presented. Everything apart from personal effects and the little white locker in the bathroom is included in the sale. And as I mentioned, the mooring is available at this stage. Out onto the stern deck, and there we are. Sweet Caroline, stunning boat. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.